It's the weekly update for Saturday the 12th of August. It's day 15 and just past of the project. And we have some more progress, I'm happy to say. More materials used, more rubble taken out. No change in the windows yet. Kitchen walls are now rendered out, ready for the final coat of plaster. That back wall has got the first coat or the final layer of plaster. This wall is now being closed up and the whole lot of the floor filled in. The plumbing's are all now built into that wall for the shower on the other side. Still waiting to change the taps because uh, that has to coordinate with the building to shut the washer off. See that it's all squared up. The boxing is in place to level the top of this wall now. I'm going to do some drywall around about that. And the other place where there is some progress is the bathroom. So we need to work on getting a light in here. Hopefully the torch will show that. Uh, I'm going to fill this cavity in here for the mirror and cabinet was. We've got the rail in place for the drywall of the suspended ceiling. And we're going to build into that the light and the extractor fan. And I still need to knock a hole in the back wall to put the extractor fan through, but that should be straightforward now. And the main drain is in place. It looks a little high, thinking about it. Because uh, we still have to put a, what they call a linear drain here. So it's going to be a drain runs length of this. I don't know if it's going to be that way at the back. I think it will be across the back of the shower unit. And we've got the toilet here and the sink will go here and the temperate tap at the moment. We've got the first coat also of the binding layer um, for putting plaster on top of the old tiles rather than taking all the old tiles off because they're pretty kind of resilient. And that's it. Uh, more work has been done on the plaster in here. Little bits and pieces. We've got the there's no cables buried along here. You can just about see the ribbed line of them uh, for the extension of the electrics into the kitchen. And there's a run of cables across here that's all been filled in. Good progress. This week coming, tiles start going down, so that will use up tiles and adhesive. We've got more plaster. Uh, more plaster and some more plaster just in case we need any extra. Never, never can be too sure. And um, we've got a tanking product to go around the shower to make that wash tight. And the bricks, I don't know, I think they overordered, but they can go on to our next project which we get the keys to this week. It's either Tuesday or Thursday. We should get the keys. And yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, guys, I've got a, bit of, a fair bit of signing to do, and no other changes. Left a little bit of a mess of cement on top of stuff and splattered all over the wall. I've uh, mentioned that to the contractor several times. Uh, yeah, let's see where that goes. But that's it. Um, struggling to get people to give us prices for replacing the windows, which is kind of odd. We've got a quote for replacing all four sets of windows, which I think worked out initially at six or seven thousand TIs, which is about a thousand pounds. And then they came along and we said, well, no, we just want this one replaced. And they're quoting as a higher price to replace just one section than to replace all four. So we had to let them know our thoughts on that. Uh, I don't think they were happy. However, it's still too expensive, and that should be, I would say, less than 2,000 to place on its own, but we'll see. They don't seem to want to work for the small things. Yeah, the logic isn't there really for me, but this is Brazil after all. Okay, drywall here, it's going up there, and in the bathroom for the fake ceiling. And that's us. Good progress for the week. Not as much as I'd hoped, but everything it needs doing is on track. Still need to do some chopping out of these old pipes and closing up the, the connections. But I think they'll do that once 
they are shutting off the water to the building to change the two taps. That's in the main feeds into the apartment from the building's water supply. So we have to shut the external supply down so we can swap these out. <coughs> I never trust old um, main stop taps. I've had way too many of them fail over the years. And while the water supply is off, we'll drain down the water. We can cut off all these old water pipes. There's a plastic one and some metal ones. And get them capped and sealed. And with the new stop valves that we can trust will work. That's most of the plumbing done. We've got the sink and the toilet all to go in. Um, but that will be late in the week, possibly next week. And pretty soon we're going to start doing the final layer of all the, the walls. Which at the very end will leave the kitchen for me to build. The windows to be replaced. And I think that's it. We've got eight days left of working time. So let's see if we can do it. That excludes the kitchen and the windows by the way. This is just the builders. Um, yes, okay, I've rambled on enough. I shall head off and have some lunch soon. I look forward to getting all this stuff out of here. That's nice getting rid of the rubble. That's all that's left. Yeah, that. That's general rubbish now. Okay, waffling over.